Thank Deputy you, Time Corla. It's been obvious for decades that practices in the meat processing sector have created fortunes for factory owners with continuous low incomes for all beef farmers from Wayland sellers to finishers. Beef farmers have consistently been unable to earn a living wage and are only sustained by direct payments from CAP. Factory owners have acted in concert to keep prices to farmers down and in the process forced farmer-owned factories out of business. This has led to a de facto cabal of private meat factories who, using the very best financial and taxation advisors, have evolved into major property and land owners. The study being undertaken by Grant Thornton on the beef sector is virtually valueless. Aldi, one of the stakeholders, has stated that they believe this is due to the non-engagement of other stakeholders, including retailers. The deck is stacked against the primary producers with no information on the value of the, the fifth quarter hides, no requirement on stakeholders to supply all of the information. Farmers face more and more requirements to meet increasingly stringent requirements imposed by bodies such as Board Bia and others that deliver no proportionate return to farmers but merely adds to the earnings of meat factories and multiple retailers. And I haven't even mentioned the impact of the feedbacks. Finally, can I say beef production is a vital part of the fabric of the rural economy, especially in my own constituency. And unless we get a beef regulator with statutory powers who will look at the full underlying structure of the beef industry in Ireland, that fabric will unravel. In fact, it's already started. Thank you very much, Deputy Minister.